Hello, this time we are going to be learning about equivalent fractions. Let's start with a definition. An equivalent fraction is a fraction that is the same as another fraction with a different denominator. How is this possible? Okay, we have an example here where we are going to be uh, finding or, or explaining how one half is the same as two fourths. You can see here visually that the same portion covered by one half is the same portion covered by two fourths. The same with six over nine and two over three and so on. Okay, how is this possible mathematically? This is what are we going to be doing or showing you how to make this possible. So one half, it says it's equivalent to two fourths. How is this possible? So basically what we do here is to find one number that multiplied by two is the same as four. But before we do that, uh, the one, one way of many to find equivalent fractions is using multiplication. Okay. Uh, when are you going to use multiplication? You are going to use multiplication when the denominator of the first fraction is greater than the denominator of the second fraction. And also, it can be on the opposite. Okay? If the denominator of the first one was smaller or, I mean, uh, larger than the second fraction. Okay, but let's focus on this right now. What number you multiply by 2 is equal to 4? What we're going to be doing is to rewrite this fraction and to see how is one half the same as uh, 2 fourths. So, what number do you multiply by 2 is equal to 4? Is 2. What we're doing basically is to make this fraction have the same denominator, which is 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. If you multiply by 2 on the bottom, you have to multiply by 2 on the top. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. So, then we have here, uh, 1 half has been converted in 2 fourths by multiplying by 2. Now, what we do here, we're going to be doing the same thing. Okay, what number you multiply by 4 is equal to 4 is 1. So, 4 times 1 is equal to 4. If you multiply by 1 on the top, you I mean on the bottom, you must multiply by 1 on the top. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So that, that, that so this is why 2 fourth, I mean, this is why 1 half is the same as 2 fourth. That's why they are equivalent. When you compare these fractions by using multiplication, you get that both of them uh, have the same numerator and same denominator. You find out that they are equivalent. What if, okay, this is using a multiplication. So what if we use cross multiplication? We can use also cross multiplication. So I want to make myself, uh, myself some space here. Okay, let's use cross multiplication. One half and two fourth. We have done this before. You multiply, you cross multiply. One times four is equal to four. Two times two is equal to four. So we have both the same product so then we can say that one half is the same as two fourths by doing this cross multiplication okay this is the simple way how to do that you can use either multiplication this way or you can use cross multiplication this way these are the easiest way how to find if two fractions are equivalent or not. Now, okay, let's do exercise number two. One third is the same as three nine. One third, excuse me. One third is the same as three ninth. How is this possible? Let's use multiplication here. What number you multiply by three is equal to nine. We are going to rewrite our fraction here. 3 times 3, it makes 9. If you multiply by 3 on the bottom, you multiply by 3 on the top. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 
Okay, what number you multiply by 9 is equal to 9 is 1. 9 times 1 is equal to 9. And 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So then this is why both are equivalent fractions. Okay, now let's use cross multiplication. We cross multiplication 1 third and 3 ninth. Cross multiplication. 1 times 9 is equal to 9. And 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So we have both the same product on the top. That means that they are equivalent fractions. Okay, what happens when you have a fraction that is not equivalent? So let's do this in this exercise. I'm going to pick random numbers. 3 fourth and seven ninth what we're going to be doing here we can use multiplication first and then we use cross multiplication let's do multiplication what number that you multiply or we are going to be rewriting these two fractions we're going to be finding one number that is common for both of these uh, numbers so that means the least common denominator Okay, one number that is that you can multiply by 4 and by 9 is, in this case, 36, right? Okay, so 4 times 9 is equal to 36. If you multiply by 9 on the bottom, you multiply by 9 on the top. 3 times 9 is 27. I'm rewriting this fraction. One number I multiply by 9 is equal to 36. I multiply by 4. 4, 9 times 4, 36. And 7 times 4 is equal to 28. So even though both of these fractions have the same denominator, they are not equivalent. Because the only thing that they have in common are the denominators. But the numerators are different. So then these are not equivalent fractions easy way to determine that now let's do cross multiplications let's do cross multiplication how we do cross multiplication here you know how is that we are going to be multiplying i'm going to change color here 3 times, nine, no, 3 times 9 is 27. Oh, I'm going to write on the top here, not to cause confusion here. And then 4 times 7, 28. Uh, you see here, 27 and 28 are not the same. That's why they are not equivalent fractions. It's that simple and it's that easy. These are not equivalent fractions. Let's do another exercise here. I'm picking random numbers. 4 over 10 and 6 over 8. You can start, let's start with, with cross multiplication. 4 times 8, 32. 10 times 6, 60. You know it, they are on the equivalent fraction because 32 is not the same as 60. Okay, let's do multiplication or looking for the least common denominator. 4 eighth and 6 eighth. Well, what I get 4 eighth from? It says 4 tenth. Okay. Now let's find one number that is can be multiplied by both of these numbers. So that number can be 8. Okay. Let's rewrite our fractions here. Then we compare them. 10 times 8, 80. And 4 times 8, 32. Pretty much what I got here. And if I do here, what number you multiply by 8 is equal to 80 is 10. 8 times 10, 80. 
and 6 times 10 is 60. So I have the same denominator but the denominator are different. So these are not equivalent fractions. You can say which one is greater than and less than but they are not equivalent fractions. Well I hope you understand how to find if an, a fraction is equivalent or not. Thank you.